All right, I've had several requests in various places to look at today's Zordal. Sounds like it's going to be an interesting one. Now, if you don't remember how Zordal works, um, we're basically guessing two words, but they're in an overlapped grid here. And so when you get clues like yellow and green, we don't know if those apply to the same word or two different words. One of the words could have a yellow E and one of them could have a green L, but there's no overlap in letters. So we can't have like a yellow L and one or a yellow E in one word and a green E in a different word. That doesn't work because they have different letters, the two words. Um, and that's the extent of it. Now, I do want to mention that last time we did this, I said that I thought it was by somebody who apparently it's not by. This is by somebody called Keldor. Um, I'll leave a link to their Twitter down below, but um, Keldor created Zordal. So, um, I guess I'm just going to jump into it and see what we can do. So, I mean, we know there's yellow E, green L. So, I mean, my, my thinking is just to use completely different letters and see what we can come up with. So, uh, I mean, we could do nasty. That's five new letters. Let's try that. Okay, so there's an A there. E is somewhere. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do cough. Again, five new letters. I'm just trying to get some information here. And if nothing else, we're ruling out a lot of letters with the grays. So G at the end seems like it's common, but it often has an N before it then. We don't have an N. It could be RG, something RG. Hmm. We don't have an H, which off, although it usually goes with C, S, or T, which we don't have C, S, or T either. So we don't have a lot here. We don't have a lot of letters left. So, um, something like, Bevel might be good because it checks two new spots for the E. We haven't done B or V. We know there's an L at the end though, so that doesn't get us any new information, unfortunately. Hmm. We could also do something like Pixel, but again, we already know the L at the end. All right, Lever. Lever. Lever will be good. Instead of Bevel, Lever, because, well, but then the, the L, oh, we already know there's a green, hmm. All right, I think I'm gonna do fiber. F, I, B, and R are all new letters. Another spot for the E. We're gonna do that. Oh, that's the right spot for the E. Okay, cool. So, um, I mean, it could be something A, something E, L. Um, gavel? Gavel would use the G, the A, the E, and the L. The problem is, again, the a, we know the A, E, and L are there. So, that doesn't, that doesn't really help us. Now, we only have A and E for vowels. So, the fact that we only have A and E for vowels tells me they are in different words. The A and the E are in different words, because if the A and the E are in the same word, and you can't reuse a letter in the other word, what vowel is gonna be in the other word? There's no I, O, U, or Y. So the A and the E have to be in different words. Now we could repeat, uh, a, 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 we, I mean like we said, level could still work, right? We could repeat one of those. Um, but the A and the E are in different words. So, I mean, E, L feels, feels like it makes sense. I mean, we don't have very many letters left. Uh, P, P-A maybe? K? I don't know. Uh, we, we really don't have... I think we're gonna have to use, reuse a lot. So level might be a good guess. We're gonna have to reuse a lot of letters. I'm gonna try that. Ooh, there is two E's. Okay. So, and it's gotta be at the beginning. So E something something E. Excel? No, we don't have a C. Now the L isn't necessarily in that word. It could be something else, but we could use the G. E G maybe. Ager, <laughs> egged? No, we don't have an R or a D. So it's got to be an E at the beginning there. No, it doesn't. It could be a double E at the end. But then what's... 
I mean, what's gonna... The, the problem is we have, like, no letters to use. P, J, K, M, X, Z, Q. And maybe a G. Yep. But we can't put a... We can't put a vowel here, so we've got to have a double consonant there. And then it could be a double E or an E-L. But there's got to be... Impel? Ooh. That could be. That's not a word. It's impel. E... P... Because the problem is, if you don't put an E at the beginning, then we've got to have a triple consonant there. And using the letters that we have, I just don't see how that's possible. You know, something like spree, but we don't have S or R. All right, maybe I'll look at the other word. The A, maybe a G, and an... And that's gotta have another A, probably. Probably like... This, or... Or it could have another A at the end. Magma. I like magma. That seems really good. Let's go with that. Oh, it's not. Gamma. Gamma. Okay, gamma. So the other one has the E. And the L. It has the E-L at the end there, so... Oh, but they're not... No, the E... E has to be at the beginning if there's a second E. E L X Expel. Oh. Expel. Okay. It's going to be expel. There we go. All right. That was tricky. I can't believe I did magma instead of gamma, but uh, you know, that's just the first thing that came to mind. So, gamma and expel. Very interesting. Yeah, I can see why people were having trouble with those. Um, Zordal's really weird how you get the clues, but you don't know which word the clues apply to. Um, pretty cool though. I enjoy that a lot. So, so there you go. That was today's Zordal. Let me know how you did with it. Be sure to like and subscribe to help out the algorithm, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. This works just like normal Wordle, except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're going to get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are. Oh, we can do another P. We can do another P. Apply. There we go. Okay. Now this has to be a P. Totally pulled that out of nowhere. Okay. Uh <laughs> oh, no. No, no, not necessarily. Because we could repeat the E or the O. Ozone would be really good there. And that would be a really tricky one with the Z.